traffic control. This is out. G54, request for clearance for departure. Roger that. Mark the end. Take the runway five. I'll fly to the hospital for departure. Please take it. If anyone is to blame for these events, Mr. Thornton, it is you. Alpha Protocol began here, after all. I feel like I've been hit by a freight train. Good. You're awake. I wasn't sure how long you'd be under. Those tranquilizers wore off fast. Unless I'm still drugged. I don't think we've met. Mina. And the static on the screen is interference, not the drugs. Too bad. Static's a good look for you. So? Thank you. If flattery is your only weapon, you'll need a gun. And fast. Well, I don't want to wear out my welcome. All the more reason to leave. And how do you propose to do that? You're locked in. There's a guard outside. Eventually he's going to come check on you. And when he does... I'll think of something. Let me check the room. There's got to be another way out. All right, then. Don't take too long. The door's locked. Any sign of our new arrival? No sign of him yet. Careful, Mike. Truck coming in. And guards at the exit. Try to stay out of sight if you can. All right, Mike, that's enough. That's enough? I think that's my line. What the hell's going on? Why did you drug me? We need to get the location of this facility confidential. Especially if you got kidnapped and questioned. I don't give up government secrets. I believe you. Everyone says that during the first hour of interrogation. So this is all part of the orientation? Yep. I'm gonna ask you some questions, run you through some more tests, then you and I can talk face to face. That make you feel better? I'm ready. What tests? Not a physical, if that's what you're thinking. No, I figured that was all done while I was unconscious. And then some. We ran your blood work, checked your vitals. You seem healthy. Just one thing we should check. Your psych profile. I've been reading and rereading your dossier. Your file makes you seem more like a tourist than an agent. Your passport must have been stamped twice over. The stamps are just for show. I can't confirm or deny I was ever in any of those places, nor were there any witnesses. 
Well, I hope you like going where it's hot. And I'm not talking about hell, but someplace close to it. You thought I was already there. Spoken like a man who doesn't care about his career. Good. If you gain more experience in the field, you may want to specialize further. But we can leave that until you've got some missions under your belt. That's it. Now I'm gonna let you out of the pen here and meet the rest of the crew. All right. Is there anything I should know? Nothing you can't find out on your own, and from the staff here. They'll be running you through the basics of weapons, gadgets, and espionage tactics. When you're cleared on the basics, come find me for your assignment. I won't lie to you, Mike. It's a big one, and dangerous. But I think you're the man for the job. Make the rounds. I'll see you soon. Hello? Anybody shooting in here? Agent Thornton. Hello. Hey. Hey, you're the one I spoke to when I woke up in the medical bay. Glad that wasn't a hallucination. It may have been. Do you remember my name? Or do I need to write it down for you? Mina, right? That's right. Good to see you've recovered from the medical room with your memory intact. Memory intact? Speaking of which, I don't remember where I left my keys. Or my passport. Confiscating personal items is quite routine. I wouldn't worry about that. But let's get down to the task at hand. I'm here to run you through the weapons training and test your accuracy. All right, what's the next step? Just head through the door to the firing range, and I'll keep in contact with you over the earpiece. Head over to the table, get your weapons, and we can begin. You guys must have spent a fortune on the TVs in this place. You all done? As much as I thought was necessary. I have to admit I was worried whether we'd be able to keep you here after you woke up in medical. You gave our staff a run for its money. Maybe it's their training that's in question, not mine. Fair enough. It'll be a good excuse to up the morning drills around here. It's almost like you did a 180 as soon as you left this room. In my experience, time is of the essence. Huh. Well, I suppose we'll have to waive the physical evaluation. Tell me why you're here. Not everyone gets chosen for this line of work, but you volunteered. Usually, we have to ask. You ever had an intern position at a government agency? I have. Need I say more? All my exercise was moving papers from desk to desk. I'm here to do work, not sit back and manage it. I want to be out where the action is. I want to make a difference. What makes you think you're ready? Because I tell you, we get a lot of recruits in here, and you're not convincing me. You guys should already have a gauge of how I can help. All this training's been fun, I'm not gonna lie. Actually, if you're not gonna lie, then you're not much use to us. Beyond the guns, tech, and sneaking around in the dark, there's one last part of this job that nobody else here quite gets. I'm listening. Good, because listening is a large part of it. The way you talk to people, your attitude. That's what we're gonna discuss now. I'd rather skip the pep talk and get started. Fair enough. Meet me in the command center, and I can give you a proper mission briefing. Good. Because I'm sick of this room. Trust me, Mike. If it was up to me, you'd never see this interrogation cell again. Recognize him? That Sheik Ali Shahid. The voice of Al Samad. They say he was responsible for shooting down that airliner in the Middle East. Yeah, he got his hands on some prototype Halbeck technology. A missile with a multi-stage targeting system called Jacob's Ladder. That airliner was his first target. Halbeck? I've run across them while I was touring the world. They don't exactly keep their hands clean. How did Shahid get his hands on that missile? Missiles. He's got more. He stole them from Halbeck, and we need them back before he gets any more trigger-happy. Then we want you to kill him. You know where he is. No, but that'll be part of your mission in the Middle East. Find the missiles, then find him, and take him out. You don't want him taken alive. If he cooperates, sure, bring him in. On the off chance he tries to kill you, then put a bullet in his head. I'll put my years in charm school to use. All right, then, pack your gear. You're heading to Saudi Arabia. Not coming with me? I'll be there in spirit. And on video and radio when needed, Agent. And I just got here. Oh, well. I'm gonna miss this place.
I doubt it. I'll contact you when you reach Saudi Arabia. Care to explain how Halbeck lost its missiles? Old news. An accounting error. The missiles. You didn't lose them, did you? Angry, Mr. Thornton? Because of what happened in Saudi Arabia. Mike, can you read me? I'm getting lots of interference. I made it to Saudi Arabia, sir. I'm at the safe house. I guessed that much. See any shadowy agents in trench coats at the airport? No, sir. I don't think so. That was a joke, Mike. But stay on your toes anyway. Finding Shahid is your primary objective. Trouble is, we don't know his location. But we have three leads. An arms dealer, Nasri, is believed to have sold the missiles to Shahid, and he's currently operating in Saudi Arabia. If you can intercept him, Maybe he can tell you where Shahid is, or guide you to the missiles. I think I can figure things out from here, sir. What? Wait. Mike, enjoying Saudi Arabia? I've been keeping an eye on your mission. What do you think? I think you're lucky. All I'm seeing are satellite images. Guess that'll have to do. Speaking of which, anything new on Shahid or the other leads? Not much more at the moment. I know Parker and Darcy are trying to dig up as much as they can through contacts and surveillance, though. Anything come up you need my help with? So you've been with Alpha Protocol a while, then? Not as long as Westridge. And not nearly as long as Parker. This assignment with Shahid is probably the biggest one I've been involved in. What other assignments have you been on? I went undercover with Parker in Milan as a contractor for Halbeck. It's how we found out the missiles were gone in the first place. <sighs> Although it was too late to stop Shahid. The incident with the airliner... Analysis takes time, and now we have more information to work with. He won't get away. Those missiles leave a trail even Al Samad can't cover up. I hope so. I just wish we'd gotten the intel quicker. Still, without a protocol, what I don't understand is why the United States would want to keep this operation secret. Don't they want Shahid captured? I think it's the missiles that are the problem. Helbeck's a substantial government contractor. The fact the missiles were involved complicates things. Complicates things? As in, they're a potential embarrassment to Helbeck? I think that's a big part of it. U.S. weapons used to kill U.S. citizens? Wouldn't look good on a front page, even if the missiles were stolen. Alpha Protocol does a lot of operations like this. I don't know all of them, or all the names this program has had. It carries out missions without the knowledge of other U.S. agencies. Sounds like you have some doubts, Mina. No, 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 it's not like that. Not really. I mean, other agencies wouldn't approve, but that's not my call. The CIA, the NSA, most congressmen don't even have a clue this program exists. It's designed to prevent red tape. And if it's found out, it just gets buried and renamed. Renamed? To beta or gamma protocol? No clue. Parker probably does. He's been here the longest. Whenever it's in danger of being exposed, it closes shop and a new one opens up. Interesting. I guess that's good to know. Wonder if I'd get a new name if Alpha Protocol shut down. I don't know. We might get new names, new identities. Or fired. That's all I need then. All right. Mina out. to alert the camp. If you do, we may lose our chance to find Shahid. I'm inside. <sighs> sure is a lot of security. Tell me about it. There's cameras all over the place. It's bad. But it also means they've got something here worth protecting. Mike, you made it back from the airfield. I was worried that once you were spotted, Security was heavier than I was expecting. Still, I should have been more careful. I noticed the security. 
It may be a good sign. It means the airfield is important to Al Samad. It may be a problem in the future, though. If Shahid feels we're on to him, he'll bring his elite guard in, which could make your upcoming missions more difficult. We'll see. I think I'll get by. Is the bug transmitting? Loud and clear, no problems. We have Parker and some of the other analysts on it now. Shouldn't be much longer. All right, then. Let me know when you found something. Will do. And again, good job. What's up, Mikey? Problems already? Just checking in. Had some questions about the mission and Alpha Protocol. And you called me instead of Westridge? Lucky me. Been with Alpha Protocol long? Longer than you, so yeah, long enough. There a problem? I was just curious how you managed to get this mission instead of me. <laughs> but if you don't want to tell me, that's fine too. That's all I need. See you in the field, Darcy. Zip-rep? No radio chatter, no alarms. Looks like he did a good job of getting in under their radar. Wish our choppers could. Would have saved us a lot of trouble. Bad intel? No. <clears throat> At the camp. They're dug in pretty deep. Any sign of the radio tower? Yeah, it's across the canyon from me. A lot of open ground in between. Try not to get spotted. If you get trapped in there... I know. Good job, Mike. Not bad for the new guy. All the missions go as smoothly as this? You're alive, aren't you? Mikey, so you got back safely? Yeah, thanks for the lift out of there. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. Let me know as soon as you... Careful, Mike. Don't play games with these guys. If I can get in without a firefight, that makes getting to Nasri that much easier. American. Nasri said nothing about an American. I'm not looking to advertise my presence. Only to do business. Business, eh? Check with Nazri if you don't believe me. He's waiting for me. And my down payment. <laughs> I call ahead. Go on through. Can't believe you blocked those guards. Should be quick. Give me a sec. You? Who are you? A businessman. You come all this way to do business? You blow up my merchandise. Kill my men. They're not big on conversation. I'm looking for a shipment of Halbeck missiles. Hand them over, and we both walk out of here. The missiles? You are too late. Already gone. Sold. You cause all this trouble for nothing. Sold? To who? I take their cash, not their names. You come a few days ago. Maybe you could have killed them instead of my men, eh? Mike, this is bad news, if he's telling the truth. What you do now, huh? Kill me? That not get your missiles back. Mike, we need to know where those missiles went. If we let him go, he could lead us to the people he sold the missiles to. Or they might come after him. Either way, we win. But if he can't lead us to the buyers, then we've let a killer go, and more people will die. Remember that rocket attack in Money! Europe? Guns! Yours, if you let me go. No, we're taking you into custody. The copter will be here to pick you up, and your munitions. What? Uh, look, I pay you. You not hear me, I, I say- Westridge, I say for I... delivery. On their way, Mike. Can't risk the consequences of letting him go. We can find the missiles some other way. Fair enough. Search the room, see what you can find. 
This is it, Mike. We can't let either the missiles or Shahid get past us. Shahid's here to oversee the transport of the missiles. We can kill two birds with one stone. Most of the trucks have already headed out. Wait a minute. And you have heard nothing from the control tower? No, Shane. But your plane is prepped and ready for takeoff, as you asked. Looks like Shahid's got a whole lot of ugly with him. Something is wrong. Have our men come to meet the trucks at the checkpoint with the assault vehicles? At once, Shane. It's Shahid. Should I take the show? No, if we do that, we lose the missiles. But if you can still intercept the convoy, we have a chance. Convoy's already headed out. The road the convoy's on snakes through the mountains. If you use the foot trails, it move fast. I thought the death of one terrorist leader would somehow fix the world. I had a mission, I carried it out. Yes, and I would commend you. But you're effectively persona non grata around here. That makes two of us, then. There's always one thing I wanted to know. After you killed Shahid, why you did what you did next? Were you trying to find out what happened to your friends? Or were you after me? Trying to bring down Hellback, perhaps? Or maybe you were just cornered, looking for a way out. Is, is the blood on your hands not enough? On behalf of the American government, I am here to take you into custody, Shahid. Behalf of America? America answers only to its wealth. Coming from one of the richest men in the Middle East and son of a privileged family, that seems ironic. You are here because America's greed demands it. Your country sleeps at Hellfeck's feet like a dog, hungry for its weapons. Save the preaching. I'm here for the missiles you stole. The missiles I stole? They shipped them to me. Then brand me a thief? You said Halbeck shipped the missiles to you? Why? I will tell you nothing. If you are ignorant, nothing I say will change your mind. I think you'd be surprised. I suggest you tell me before I let some light shine into that skull of yours. Go ahead, then. Shoot me. I was ordered to recover missiles that were stolen from Halbeck, except now you're telling me they were sold to you. So? There is no difference. There's a huge difference. And everyone who died on that airliner would agree, because that means there's two murderers, not one. Hellbeck will never answer for what they did. And you have destroyed all evidence of their involvement. You're still breathing. My testimony will never survive me. In custody, I will be found, hanged, a suicide. Go back to your Hellbeck masters. Tell them of your great success. I don't work for Hellbeck. Ah, and neither did I. A comforting thought, but it is a lie. You already know something is wrong. The data you found in the detention cells of our camp, that was not stolen missile data. That was given to us. You have two choices. You can believe me or kill me. Helbeck uses you, but you do not see their influence. You will. Trust me in this. I'll take that PDA of yours. That contact list on it should prove handy. Take it will only implicate your country. Proof of the corruption at the heart of yeah, your country. Yeah, that's fascinating. Now, did you ever play make-believe when you were a kid? What? Pretend you can fly. Where are you taking me? Now, you get to be the plane Mike, you got Mike? I'm here. Shahid is 
dead. And the missiles? I've disabled the convoy. I haven't confirmed how many missiles we've recovered. Got his PDA. Looks like that's something to go on. Your first priority is... Westridge? Westridge, do you read me? Get out of there. Mina? I'm tracking multiple missiles homing in on your coordinates. What the Get out hell? Of there. First. You're in danger. You need to get out of Saudi Arabia. But how, Beck? The missiles. Shahid's dead. Mike, Halbeck is the one that sent the missiles to your location. I think they wanted to erase the evidence of the missiles entirely. And you along with it. Great, so now I'm reduced to being evidence? How did they get these coordinates? That's the other problem. I think they have someone inside Alpha Protocol. And whoever it is, fed them the coordinates for the missile strike. Is there a way to track down who had access to my coordinates? Not cleanly, no. But it had to be one of your handlers in Saudi Arabia. Well, that's a short list. I'd like it to be shorter. Any other facts you can give me? If I knew more, I'd share. No one knows I'm talking to you right now. So it's either Darcy, Parker, Westridge, you, or me. Although, how I could give myself away is anyone's guess. Maybe it's Westridge's way of getting rid of the new recruits. Is that why you cut them off when the missiles were detected? There wasn't time to ask for permission. As soon as I detected the missiles, I interrupted the call. I don't think he even knows I did it. Fine. So I need to get back to base. Can you get any choppers out here? Mike, you can't come back. What? You're rogue. I checked the feeds. They've already sent out notifications to the intelligence agencies about your status. If they find you, they'll give you up to the government. If they don't kill you first. Wait, what about Alpha Protocol? That's what the agency is for. To allow agents to carry out no. ops like this. It's to allow the government to deny ops like this. So that if they're exposed, they can say they had no involvement. Mike, you're on your own. Alpha Protocol's the only thing protecting you right now. I'm still analyzing the information I got from Shahid. So far, it checks out. Looks like Halbeck's been busy. So there was a connection between Al Samad and Halbeck. Looks that way. But what worries me is why. According to this, Halbeck's got three targets. Taipei, Rome, and Moscow. Transmitting the information now. Looks like the missiles were shipped through Moscow. Halbeck's got a distributor there, or had one. As for Rome, it looks like an Al Samad cell was activated, but I don't know why. And in Taipei, Ronald's son, the president of Taiwan. Someone's been ordered to assassinate him. This doesn't make sense. What does Halbeck hope to gain? A profit. Halbeck wants to raise global tensions, spark a cold war, and turn the world into their private marketplace. They'll be able to secure military contracts and a steady consumer base for their weapons for years to come, if they succeed. I need to warn someone. No one will listen, Mike. Not only are you rogue, but Halbeck's gotten inside off a protocol somehow. If you're caught... I know. Execution, imprisonment, possibly another lecture by Westridge. I'm on my own. No, not exactly. They used you. But we can use Alpha Protocol. There's so many levels of secrecy to it. Not even the staff know all the resources the program has. Like? Safe houses, weapons. If you're going after these targets, you'll need a base of operations in each city. I can dig up some spots that aren't listed in any records. Like this one? Better. <laughs> I think. It sounds like you're going after these targets then. Just because they tried to drop a missile on me doesn't mean I'm giving up on my mission. If Halbeck's trying to manipulate world events, it's my responsibility to stop them. Also, I don't like that they used me to do their dirty work, sending me to kill Shahid and get their merchandise back. 
No way am I letting them get away with that. Judging from the data, Mike, it may be a good thing. If Halbeck's trying to cause a Cold War... They've made a mistake. They're going to cause a real one. Porter. The photographer? Scarlet. You met her leaving Saudi, then in Taipei. But after that, we lost track of her. It's getting dull listening to you ask yourself questions. I always wondered how you two happened to meet. Coincidence? I don't know. Too, huh? Sure. Bella, don't take this the wrong way, but you look like you just got sucker punched by the world. You might say that. Business related? Somewhat. And just what kind of business had it in for you in this part of the world, if you don't mind indulging my curiosity? I'm in claims and acquisitions for Halbeck, apparently. Still getting a feel for the job. Oh. That was my reaction. Or was that an O, oh, as in I've never heard of Halbeck? O, oh, as in the sense of yes, I've heard of Halbeck. Military and construction contractor. That name comes up a lot in this region. That's right. So if you're familiar with the area, that would make you a... Those your legs? Other page. Cover story by Scarlet Lake. Hmm, I heard she's on this flag. Photojournalism, isn't that a bit dangerous, Scarlet? If there's no risk, it's not important. By the way, I'm Mike. Here, call me. I have a lot of contacts in the area. Maybe we can work out a trade. If you should hear anything, of course. If I hear anything juicy, you're the first person I'll call. I appreciate that. You know, there's something about you. Makes me think I might just be sitting next to a headline. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm just a normal guy. Are you sure? Mostly. Okay, if you say so. Bad things happen to all kinds of people. You might get lucky. I think I'll keep an eye on you regardless. I'd appreciate that. What's going on here? What, nothing to say? Almost had me. Now it's over for you. I don't leave enemies behind me if I can help it. I've got enough ahead of me already. Mike, 
Mike, are you still there? I'm here. Someone was jamming the frequency. Are you all right? Yeah, I think so. What's up with the connection? Looks like something's interfering with the transmission. Or... Great. You guys again. And I take it you're the leader? You killed my bodyguard, sis, tonight. On Lazo's yacht. Why? Your bodyguard? That little firecracker with the guns? She didn't talk much. Well, except with those pistols of hers. She attacked me, by the way. Nice job, sending a little girl to do your dirty work. I had no idea you would be there. If I did, I never would have asked her to go. I didn't want to kill her, but she started the fight. I was there for Lazo, not her. Don't blame me for her mistake. I don't care, Agent Thornton, but I'm guessing you didn't give her much choice. Well, you weren't there, were you? You're right. I wasn't. She died. Alone. Goodbye, Agent. <laughs> I hear you're the man to talk to in Moscow. I wanted to ask you some questions about Halbeck and the weapons they've been smuggling through Moscow. You are here conducting an investigation. Very interesting. In a sense, yes. Halbeck's involved in serious arms trafficking violations. I want to stop them. Interfering in such things is dangerous in Moscow, but you must know this. I'll take my chances. Of course, you're on a mission, and this is a matter of national, international security. I can help you, but such information will not come cheaply. Look at that. You spilled your vodka. I told you. I do not know. Then tell me something useful. Keep playing stupid. You're done. You... You want Surkov. Sergei Surkov. Halbeck. It is a business like his. He may know how to help you. Mina, that name mean anything to you? I think we can work with that. Don't make more of a scene, okay? Everyone in that bar is probably armed. If you'd give me a name when I first showed up, Gregory, you could have saved yourself a lot of trouble. Enjoy your drink, and you better hope I don't come back. Those boxes you are crouching behind. Wouldn't want that. Ah, American. CIA. I am surprised I did not hear you in Moscow. I'm on vacation. So you come here for the scenery? Or are you here to catch a train, darling? I'm here looking for the Halbeck missiles that were smuggled through Moscow. <laughs> Very truthful of you. Bad practice in our business. But we should talk. I do not want to shoot you, as I only have so many bullets.
could have fooled me. I propose a deal. I am here for the same reason you are, to find this Halbeck train. We work together, we both get what we want. Stay out of my way and we'll get along fine. <laughs> I accept your terms. Do not harm my men and they will not fire on you. Is it a deal? Hmm. Well, considering you have the drop on me, then it sounds like a deal. For now. That is good. Because I think we have company. I did not realize you knew how to kill so well. I don't like to brag. <laughs> and so polite. Maybe I should keep a more careful eye on you. Look all you want, but tell me what you're doing here first. You're mercenaries. Who's your employer? Michael, I am not one to kiss and tell. Fine. I'll find out eventually. Yes. Especially if we were to keep working together. We could make our trip to Moscow a quick one. And efficient. You're kidding. It is not marriage I am proposing, Michael. But is the thought so unappealing, I am hurt. I will be in touch, Michael. I think we will have much to discuss, you and I. I won't promise all this. I would wait until you hear my offer first. But it will not be long, I promise. The name Grigori provided. Sergei Surkov. He's well connected in Moscow, and he may know what Halbeck's plans are. Any idea where I can find him? I've confirmed he's at the American Embassy now. He should be there for the next few hours, if his schedule holds. Good to hear. Is something wrong? Something's interfering with the signal. I'm going to switch to another frequency. What the hell? Albatross, I'm surprised to hear from you after what happened with your bodyguard. That's the reason I'm calling now. I don't have anyone else to send. Unfortunate. But you're all I've got, now that Sis is dead. She was in the way, Albatross, and- I'm not here to discuss what happened with Sis. I'm here about Surkov. We don't have a lot of time. I know about your mission, and I can assist you in getting to Surkov. When you arrive at the Embassy, I can patch into your frequency and provide support, as your handler. I think you'll find G-22's resources are... considerable. I've already got the help I need, Albatross, thanks. Mike. G-22 is the only one you can count on in Moscow. Not exactly. I know someone who will be happy to help. Who are you? What happened? I got cut off. Mina, I think Z's going to be joining us at the embassy. What? No time to explain. But I think we need to reach Surkov now. <laughs> So this is the embassy, huh? Well, I was hoping for something a little cheerier. Mike, I'm receiving the link request from PCI. Are you sure you want- Shh, little girl. Time for the big boys to play now, yeah? Z, well that explains the overabundance of testosterone on the line. Michael needs someone who can help him, little girl. You, not so much. Michael, darling, can you hear me? Coming in strong, Z. Ah, oh, I have missed your voice, Michael. It seems only yesterday we were playing in the snow. Oh, but it was yesterday, yeah? Huh? If you hear a choking noise, it's me, vomiting. All right, let's see what we got at the front door. Wait a minute. What is it? The guards. The Marines, they are all well armed and alert. Michael, darling, did you speak to Grigori? What does that have to do with anything? Grigori's hardly a friend of the government. Right? Grigori is an informant, Mike. He makes his living here. The little girl is right. Grigori has a big mouth. If you spoke to him, he would have told anyone who would listen. And who would pay to listen. Surkov, for one. Next step is yours, Michael. I cannot help you with the guards. Do not get killed, or let Surkov die. It would be... inconvenient. Understood. Mike out. Judging from the outfit, and the arsenal, you the agent they sent? We're in need of additional manpower to escort Surkov off the premises. What's the situation here, soldier? One of the local businessmen, Sergei Surkov, reported a threat of an attack on the embassy. 
We're short-handed, so we requested help escorting personnel off the premises. Understood. Where can I find Sergei? He's on the third floor. Just head past the guard, break left, and take the elevator. Crazy bastard still trying to do some last-minute business with some of the folks up there. Ah, if Zerkov is kind enough to wait for hey, us, cool. then let us go get him, Michael. So the Americans sent someone to murder me. Come on, I see you're every bit the thug Grigori told me, Thornton. Grigori wasn't polite to me, so I had to be rough with him. You seem smarter than that, so I think we'll be good friends. You are a rogue American agent who threatened his life. I have no reason to trust you. Of course you don't. Well, except for the fact that I didn't put a bullet in your head as soon as I saw you. Are. Believe it or not, I don't want to kill you. I just want to get you out of here. I see. It seems we have a mutual goal. For now. The embassy security systems are our problem. The explosion has triggered the automatic security gates. It must be disabled if we want to escape the building. So I need to find the security terminal and then override the codes. Yes, the terminal is upstairs. But in the monitoring room next to us, there is a maintenance ladder. Take the ladder to the main security room upstairs. Unlock the gates. Then I can meet up with you at the courtyard. We don't have much time. The room Surkov mentioned is almost right next to you. I checked the blueprints. It looks like there's a ladder up. All right, Surkov, I have questions for you. Step away from me, Mr. Thor. Keep your hands where I can see them. I saved your life, now you're gonna shoot me? How's that for gratitude? To be pulled from a shark tank and thrown into another isn't saving someone's life, Mr. Thornton. After you have what you need, you will kill me. Tell me who Halbeck's contact here is, while you still have one knee left. It... it... Halbeck is dealing with... Black Market in Moscow. They... I know that already. A name. Now. Konstantin... Konstantin Breko. He... he is handling the weapons for Halbeck. I... I told him not to. Where can I find him? I... I can send you the information, but I do not have it. Breko... Moves around, but Come I can on, find him. You're here. I can get you the information. Fine, I expect a call soon. Not that you'll be able to get far on that leg of yours. Better be in touch, Surkov, or we'll see each other sooner than you'd like. Very good, Michael, darling. So that's why Surkov was walking with a limp. He's lucky I didn't shoot him in the head. Yes, fortunate. Guess late nights at the embassy have their drawbacks. Aside from terrorist attacks and rogue American agents. I could have timed it better had I known the embassy was about to be attacked. Yes, that's the odd part about the affair. Almost none of the cameras were able to catch sight of the attackers. And few eyewitness accounts as well. Something about armored soldiers with blue night vision lenses? Curious. Yeah, they're like ghosts. Not to the Marines. The bullets these ghosts fired were very real. I saw the casualty reports. The Marines were doing their job. They knew the risks. They gave as good as they got. You're surprisingly laissez-faire about the business. No skin off my back if the Marines and terrorists kill each other. I was there for Surkov. You're quite the realist. I would have expected more patriotic rage. But you, you handled yourself exceptionally well. You must have had help. You're truly a skilled agent, Mr. Thornton. But one man against several highly trained squads? No, the odds aren't that good. Is that your way of asking if I had allies? Fuck off, Leyland. Next time wear a billboard with your motivation on it, it'd be more subtle. You're testing my limits, Thornton. Good, you overconfident prick. You've already stepped on my last nerve. Don't expect any manners out of me. Well, with the attack on the embassy and everything to follow, you certainly got the most out of your first few days in Moscow. One would almost think therapy would be in order. I have some doctors I could recommend for you. The first step is admitting you have a problem, Leyland. But back to the reason you were at the embassy. Surkov. 
Yeah, I sort of expected more from ex-KGB when I met him. But maybe that's part of his charm. So you know about his past? Yep, him going legit, starting his corporation. Sorry, corporations. Trying to bring capitalism to Russia, the whole bit. I see. Still, you and Surkov didn't have much of a conversation when you finally got him out of the embassy. Yeah, the dumbass pulled a gun on me, so I had to take it away and shoot him with it. Embarrassing, really, but what are you gonna do? But he did tell you who had the Hellbeck missiles. And he gave you a name. Yes. Constantine Braco. Ah, Braco. What is it about the younger generation? At least Surkov was a businessman. They pretend to obey the law. Constantine, now there's a story I'd like to hear. Up and coming Russian mobster meets rogue American agent. What could the two of you possibly talk about? How video killed the radio star. So if you're going after Braco, you can either sneak in or hit the front gate guns blazing. Whichever you choose, I suggest you not go in alone. Already covered. What do you mean? Where are you? On the road. security systems are a little dated. So is the decor. I think I can tap into the surveillance systems and use it to track down Braco or the Helvic data. This whole place is wired on one circuit. Tune into Braco, see where he's at. All right. I found Braco, patching it through to your headset. It doesn't sound like he's alone. What, he's entertaining guests? No, I think he's murdering someone. Mike, I think that Z Braco's torturing. She let herself get captured? Guess the VCI didn't give her much support in the attack. Or they left her out to dry. She's not actually a member of the organization. And I don't know how much longer she's going to last. It's either Z or the data, then. Great. Sounds like Z's a perfect distraction for Braco, then. Besides, she knew the risks. Z's not my favorite person, but... All right, Mike. The jacket. Messed up my jacket. Got all this blood on it. With that color scheme? How can you tell? Why the fuck did you come here? Did I kill someone you know? Shoot your fucking dog? Fuck your girl? No, don't. I'll pay you. I swear. drove a striker assault vehicle through Braco's front gate. That's what the owner gets for leaving the keys in the ignition. And then, you gunned down his men from the turret. Yep. Someone left it loaded with the safety off, so I had to clear the firing chambers. I see. Video footage was recovered from the security cameras at the mansion, although not many cameras were left intact. So why the questions, then? 
Obviously, you know everything that happened in the mansion already. Not exactly. Because you weren't the only one attacking the place. Just like the embassy. True. The two missions had a lot in common. Mostly wrong place, wrong time, bad coincidences, all that. Or perhaps you're not a lone agent after all. There's only so many coincidences that can happen before they stop being coincidences. You're gonna hurt my street cred with comments like that. I value my alone time. Whatever the reason, Braco certainly has a way with trespassers. I heard he captured the leader of the attackers. Tortured them. I wouldn't put it past him. He's got a temper. So you didn't come across a victim? No signs of anyone being tortured? Nothing you heard or saw? Nope. As far as you know. In the end, you found Braco and dealt with him. He's out of the picture. I got the intel I needed, enough to shut down your shipments. With Braco out of the picture, you got nothing. Yes. How embarrassing for us. Years of work ruined. It'll take us some time to find a new contact in Moscow. If we find one at all. You're thorough, Thornton, I'll give you that. For a minute there, I thought we'd underestimated you. In some respects, I'm glad I was wrong. Yeah, well, I was just glad to leave Moscow behind. I think I just got Salmonella by looking at this place. Gotta keep the public from dropping in for a cone. This has to be the worst posting in the entire intelligence community. Well, data gathering isn't exactly as prestigious as field work. Okay, you'll need to come up with a good reason to be here. Hmm. Looks like they're scheduled for server maintenance and security upgrades this month. That might get you in. We're all professional agents. I'm sure we can come to an agreement. I hope so. Remember, if the post is compromised, they'll shut it down, and we'll lose our access. You'll also need to give the correct handshake code to identify yourself as an agent. Secret handshakes? What are we, the Shriners? It's a specific passphrase that rotates on a monthly basis. You give the correct phrase, they give the correct response, and you both know everything's on the level. So what's the code? Tell them that the Adirondacks are beautiful this time of year. They should respond with, yes, but the Alps are lovely all year long. Got it. Let's see if anybody's home. Hello? Anybody back there? I'd like to purchase some of your somewhat suspicious looking gelato. <coughs> that... That is at least seven health code violations right there. Can I help you? Or are you going to stand there and insult my shop all day? I'm here to fix the computers. We don't have a problem with the computer. What the hell just happened? I'm on a deadline. No time to jump through hoops. I'm gonna patch into their computer and get out of here before the cops show up. I'll be in touch. good view of the estate where this meeting is supposed to take place. What now? Albara's our target. He's supposed to be here tonight. Well, I'm glad I brought this rifle. But what's the deal with the scope? It can transmit images to me in real time. Aim at someone, and I'll run their picture through the database. See if we get a match. The longer you focus on a target, the quicker I can make an ID. The ID is all I need. And if the target's a scumbag, I take him out? That's your call. If you decide to shoot, just make sure you don't do it if the target's inside of a camera, or another person. We don't know who Albara's meeting, so taking anyone else out may have... That's Albara. That's him. Take him out. Hold on. A lot of State Department and Interpol records. State Department says he's dirty. Interpol says his finances are legitimate, though. And... 
mean do I take him out? None of these State Department records are sourced. I can't tell where they came from, or when. Best I can tell, their intel was added to his sheet a few months before you left for Saudi Arabia. He's a member of al right? I don't know. I'd say yes. But, but I might be wrong. You can take him out, or we can abort. It's up to you. What's that beeping? No sign of our mysterious Halbeck contact yet. Maybe he stood you up. If he's a no-show, then I'll have to go find him. The message seemed genuine, Mike. Something must have happened. Switch off your transmitter. If you reach for your gun, one of my men will put a bullet in your skull. If you open fire in here, it's gonna be a lot worse for you, trust me. Don't make me repeat myself. You've made an effort to broadcast your arrival in Rome. Why? Broadcast? I thought I was being more subtle than that. You were obviously trained by the U.S. government. You've left a trail all over Rome. Actually, you left the trail, or I wouldn't be here in the first place. And now we're having this conversation. I must be doing something right to have you come visit me in person. You aren't here in an official capacity. You are operating under Alpha Protocol. Interesting. Considering the program secret, I would have expected you to say traitor, unless you have insider knowledge. If you think you're the first to be abandoned by your government, you would be wrong. You are Michael Thornton, an American citizen, but you have traveled extensively since birth, a known freelancer. I prefer the term commando, actually. I've been adding bullet points to my resume since you saw the last draft. I'm guessing you're here to confirm the file you have on me. Anything else you need to check? Reports place you as someone loyal to your country and who believes in carrying their missions through. Is that so odd? In today's day and age, yes. But not to me. So you know a great deal about me, and I know who you are. You're Leyland's right-hand man, his lackey, toady, henchman. And you wear those gloves to keep the blood off your hands. I've read your dossier. You've lived a full life. Kuwait, South Africa, that oil refinery explosion in Moscow. It's like a concert tour with you. Considering how public your actions have been in Rome, and how many CIA and NSA agents you've killed, I think you're hardly in a place to lecture me. In less than a day's time, you have already managed to cause me considerable inconvenience. Now, tell me what you're doing here. Looking to kill every Halbeck stooge I can find and crush this get-rich-quick scheme you corporate drones have planned. You're a smart guy. How do you think this is going to turn out for you? Me, I already have a pretty good idea. What I don't understand, though, is why we're talking at all. Unless keeping me alive is important for some reason. I have orders. And I am a cautious person. Well, we're done talking, so you can go fuck off now. I expected that reaction. I believe you have nowhere to go for help. In that situation, it is a rare man who goes to his enemy's door. So, yes, this is a social call. A warning. You have proven yourself capable, but pursuing this course of action will not serve you any longer. Go underground, hide, but stay out of our way. Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. We know you've been in contact with one of your fellow agents. That contact will die if you persist, and then we will kill you. There's nothing you can do to me, Marburg. Go ahead, kill everyone, make some money, retire. I'll find you eventually, I promise. I do not believe you're willing to let others die needlessly, or else you would not be here. 
You know nothing about me except what you've read in a file. You're in for a surprise. So we're done here. I leave Rome, leave you to your plan, and that's it. Yes. What you do next is up to you, but there are only two immediate choices. Leave, you live. Stay, you die. I think you're the one who needs to leave. And it's simple, because your boss's plan is flawed. Really? Leyland's never seen the world outside of the boardroom or an air-conditioned limo. And he's planning something to change the world? Doesn't seem to me like he knows what he's doing. Of course. He provided a goal, another provided a plan, I provided the means. We are done here. Leave Rome. If we see each other again, it will be the last time. You weren't hard to find in Rome, you know. After that debacle at the CIA listening post, the reports of what happened in that gelato shop, the shooting outside of Rome, <sighs> that poor professor taking that bullet like that. Finding you was easy. I wanted you to of find Of course me. you did. And that's when you and Mr. Marburg met up and had lunch. There wasn't much time to eat, actually. He was too busy talking, and I was too busy keeping my hands where he could see them. <laughs> so a normal business lunch, then. I'd be curious to hear more, and your first impression of Mr. Marburg. What did you discuss? Nothing important. Just you. He described you as a man of your word. Patriotic, I believe, also came into the conversation. But Mr. Marburg was not always the best judge of character. Nor does he instill much loyalty in employees. Speaking of which... This woman entered the picture not long after your meeting with Marburg. She was in our office in Rome. Madison, I believe. Yes. I always wondered... Did you ever regret getting her into this? It wasn't my choice. <laughs> oh, my, my, my. Thank you for meeting me, Mr. Thornton. Just tell me what you know. We'll keep this brief. Oh, okay. I, uh, where to start? The beginning? I work for the Veteran Combat Initiative. VCI. They're a global military contractor. My boss, Mr. Marburg, I think he's involved in something illegal. So I checked it out, and your name came up several times in our database. And you just happened to come across this information? Yes. Mr. Thornton, I don't think he meant for me to see it, but in my position... So he just left this out accidentally for you to find? I find that hard to believe. Mr. Thornton, I don't know what you're implying, but I came here to help you. We'll see. Where is this information anyway? If you're telling the truth, then it's evidence. I don't have it on me. What a surprise. So I just have to go on your word then. Mr. Thornton, I'm not sure what to do next. Go to the authorities? Is there someone I should notify, or...? Let's cut out the small talk. You work for Marburg, he wants me out of Rome, and you're sent here as some ploy to get intel on me or take me out. What? No, you have it wrong. I'm not done. When you open your mouth again, you're going to tell me about Marburg, his plans in Rome, and then you're going to give me all the passcodes to the Halbeck and VCI mainframes. I'm only going to ask once. Mr. Thornton, I came here to warn you. Mr. Marburg's dangerous. He wants to kill you. I know he's trying to kill me. What I want to know is why and why he's here in Rome. I... Tell me now or tell me later, but later's going to be worse for you, I promise. I need those files. Are they in the VCI branch office? I don't know what you're looking for, but the VCI office in Rome isn't Marburg's personal office. He does most of his work off-site, or when he travels. But he's here now, so where would he store the information while in Rome? He has a villa. I've been there several times. If the files exist, I'm guessing they'd be there. Along with Marburg? Yes. Give me the address. Can you get me in? What? 
passcodes, details on the security system, anything would be helpful. I can give you the address, but that other information... You have two choices. One, help me. Or two, don't. If you don't, I'll tell Marburg what you've done. What? If you're lucky, you'll lose your job. If you're right, you'll vanish. Mr. Thornton, please don't do this. I'll... I'll go to the authorities. If you try and leave here now, you won't make it. I'm not letting you ruin this chance for me. I came to you because I was scared of what Marburg would do to you. But you're even worse than him. You have no idea. I'll help you. I can get you the address to the villa, and the names of the files you need to search for. Then that's all I need. Come with me. Narcissist much? Thornton, my apologies for relieving you of your weapons. But after that incident with the CIA listening post, I'm sure you understand. This conversation is over. I guess that's that. No, I just need my gear. Mina, do you read me? I'm here, Mike. Are you inside? Yeah, but they've got me locked in. Can you override the security systems? No, I can't patch through to security. I'm sorry, Mike. Would Madison know the codes? It depends who you want to help you out, Mike. I can patch Madison through, or I can stay on the line. Just say the word. Madison isn't trained for this. When push comes to shove, I'd rather you were back... Got a present for you. Uploading the information now. Receiving. Sure is a lot of security. And that's that. Mike, what did you do? Erasing my tracks and the weapons. With charm like that, your parents must have been proud. Oh, not all of us are bastards. Did you find out anything? Any sign of Marburg or clue what he's doing? I found an Al-Samad communications array in the ruins, and some weapon caches. But until I have the information from the warehouse, I'm not sure what the weapons were going to be used for. Do you ever slow down? You've been running yourself ragged ever since I've met you. If you're always like this... I have to be. These people I'm after, they're on a timetable I'm still trying to catch up with. I think they're going to regret crossing you. You were determined. I prefer stubborn. But you should know, you have certain mule-like qualities yourself. What is it? When is it going to be safe for me to leave here? I don't appreciate being kidnapped, and I don't appreciate not being able to go home. I'm sorry this is inconvenient for you, but if you leave... Marburg may try to have you killed. He doesn't know everything you told me, but he won't take any chances. I can't believe I let myself get into this. You let yourself get into this because you couldn't stand by and let something happen. I'd take pride in that. I... well, I couldn't... I had to warn you. You were in trouble. It wasn't a choice. For some people, it is. 
Not you. You should get some sleep, Madison. All right. Good night, Mike. Caught your exploits at the warehouse on the news. Another shootout like at the ruins? Cut me some slack, all right? You don't like me, fine. But at least keep your mouth shut. Not until you tell me how things went. That covers the warehouse and the Pompeii ruins. With those two leads, is there any clue as to what Marburg is up to? We don't have anything else to go on. Marburg wasn't expecting me at either location. My guess is he's gonna get rattled and try to pull off his big plan early. I hope there's enough time to stop him. We don't have much choice. Between the information from the warehouse and the ruins, I need to dig a little, but there's gotta be something there. Marburg was able to get the munitions into the country through Al Samad, but the warehouse was the destination of the bombs. He wasn't planning to destroy the warehouse though, right? Was he planning to store the bombs there, use them later in Rome? Well, that doesn't make much sense. The warehouse was on the outskirts of Rome. There's plenty of other storage areas he could have used. So there was something special about that warehouse. It's inventory. It's mostly art and museum pieces, right? How do I know? I didn't pry open every box. But yes, there were a lot of art pieces there, some in storage. Is there any chance he might have been smuggling something in the art pieces? Doubtful. The art pieces weren't outbound through customs. It looks like they were simply holdovers from the museum in Rome. Well, that actually helps. Maybe I can narrow it down. I used to work part-time at a museum here in Rome. I think it's part of the reason Marburg hired me. Marburg hired you because you used to work at a museum? Yeah, the Museum of Art in Rome. I think they have an exhibit on the Crusades showcase there now. What's wrong? Some of the pieces in that warehouse. I'm certain they were from that museum. He's going to bomb the museum. But why? I have no idea, but that's his target. I need to get there before he does. I'm in the museum. Mike, I just picked something up on the cameras. It's Marburg's men. They have Madison. Damn it. Deus Vault. You brought it on her. Psychopathic son of a bitch. Enough of this. self-appointed hero. You are disposable and obsolete. It beats being dead, but you'll know all about that in a minute. I think you'll see Miss St. James before I do, Thornton. Keep talking. It lets me know where to shoot. Enough of this. Damn it, he's getting away. There's nothing you can do now, Mike. Get out of there. There'll be another time. So you chose Rome. I underestimated you. Marburg did not. He said you were a pragmatist, that you would carry out your mission. You're gonna answer for killing her. I hope you don't blame me for her death. Marburg wanted you to save her. Not out of any emotional tie, mind you. For him, it was business. 
tragedy in the wake of the thwarted terror attack on the ruins of Karsule. A shame. A second attack. But you can't save everyone, Michael. Claim the life of an American employee of oh, the veteran company. I had been in your shoes. Madison St. James was well, I don't know what I would have done. Attempt. Italian authorities have announced that you wouldn't have done anything. That's why you sent Marburg in in the first place. <laughs> Executive Bro has the privileges. You don't make any real choices, Layla. Not really. What have you hoped to gain from the bombing? It's over now. Really? That's because you have a very narrow view of events. <laughs> Lectures on perspective from a blind man? That's the first. You planning on teaching about ethics next? I can't expect you to keep up with every news report. I have an entire division devoted to it. Plus my ex and all. The bombing was intended to reorganize terrorist legislation in the European Union. So what? How does that benefit you? The reorganization was to benefit Helbeck. Surveillance, airport screening tech, weapons. Mr. Marburg's little crusade in Rome was to remind Europe what fear is. So you killed Madison for profit? No, Mike. You did. You brought her into this mess. You had her take you to Marburg despite the risks, and then you failed to protect her. Blame me all you want, but step back and think about it. You must have thought about it. When it was all over, you were the big hero. Saved all of Rome. When things were quiet, no one shooting at you. No bombs. What did you think about then? Operator? Uh, hello? Or else what? Or people you care about will start to die. See the Red Lion. I'm a friend of the Sheik. Hong Shur, my name is Michael Thornton. I think you have information I need. I know many things. Most of them would be useful to someone, I'm sure. What is it you want from me, Mr. Thornton? I have no interest in bantering with an American cowboy. It upsets my digestion. Please, get to the point. I know Shahid was funneling money to you, and I know someone is planning to assassinate Ronald's son. I need to know what those two things have in common. And I need to find a woman who will love me for the real me. Listen, I'm on a deadline here, so cut the crap and tell me what I need to know. Mr. Thornton, a man in my position does not get to be a man in my position without knowing the value of a... Good trade. I can understand that. I suppose the question is what you need. Uh, some of my lieutenants seem to think they would do better without my loving guidance and gentle hand. They have set up shop in a disreputable part of town. Now, well, if you were to uh, discourage them, I will tell you what I know. Or, plan B, I start shooting you in places you didn't know you had until I get some answers. Yes, I'm sure you're capable of such a thing. But it is very hard to torture someone while his bodyguards are shooting you repeatedly. Well, when you put it that way, it's hard to argue. All right, Mr. Hong. <laughs> I knew you would see the wisdom of this deal, Mr. Thornton. Uh, contact me again when my wayward children have been dealt with, huh? Oh, and Mr. Thornton. Yeah? Don't call me Mr. Hong. Ah, Mr. Thornton. 
Martin, you return. The television is already humming with talk of your assault on the slums. Oh, it's all wrapped up, but there's a few things you didn't tell me. And I'm guessing you didn't tell your subordinates either. What exactly are you talking about, Mr. Thornton? I'm talking about why your men defected. It wasn't a business dispute. Don't you think your men have the right to know that? I do not take kindly to blackmail, Mr. Thornton. Take care. You will lose a powerful ally if you follow this road with me. Tell me, what is your silence worth? You know how the U.S. government can be. I'm always in need of operating funds. Very well, Mr. Thornton. If it is money you desire, money you shall have. Now, may we return to the business at hand? Shahid was sending you large sums of money. What was it for? A man in my position has access to certain materials, Mr. Thornton. Materials that a man in Shahid's position finds very valuable. We had a long-standing business arrangement. You were selling him weapons, you son of a bitch. Do you know how many innocent people Al Samad has killed? Quite a lot, I should imagine. Not nearly so many as your government, Mr. Thornton. I did not sell weapons to Shahid directly. I was merely a facilitator. You tell yourself whatever you have to to sleep at night. I cannot afford to be sentimental. I ensure that Shahid's fighters had weapons when and where they were required, for which I was paid large sums of money. And that put you in a position to know about the assassination attempt on Ronald's son. Hand over that information, and I'll overlook your part in this. As promised, Mr. Thornton. Here is all the information I have regarding this unfortunate business with Mr. Song. If this information's no good, I'll be seeing you again. Such trickery will benefit me not at all. I give you my word. That is all the information I have. Oh, there is one other thing. Beware of the man called Omen Dang. Never heard of him. Maybe you should tell him to beware of the man called Mike Thornton. Anyway, what's he got to do with this? I'm afraid no one really knows. He is a powerful man in Taipei. And I have heard his name mentioned along with the rumors of this assassination. We'll see. Keep your nose clean, Hong. Huh? I expect you to maintain your silence on the matter of my family problems. Do not contact me again. I have given you all the help I'm inclined to offer, Mr. Thornton. Don't worry. You won't see me again. I'm sending you the data I got from Hong Shur now. Receiving. Got it. Anything? According to this, the White Oak Mountain Triad was approached to provide security for a diplomatic exchange at a subway station on the Xingmei Line tomorrow night. Diplomatic exchange? If Hong Shir screwed me on this, I'll... Listen, the man who approached them was identified as an NSB operative. He was working undercover on a major political assassination case. And how many major political assassinations can be in the works? I guess it's good for us the NSB doesn't teach their agents quality interrogation resistance techniques. I suppose that's one way to look at it. That gives us a time and a place. Think it's enough to go on? Xingmei Station is pretty big. You could wander around for an hour and not find the exchange. You'll need to identify the package being handed off. If you can find a way to track it, even better. I'll see what I can dig up. I'll be in touch. Okay. Good luck, Mike. G-22? What are they doing here? All right, I'm in. What the hell's up with my PDA? Uh-oh. Albatross. It's been a while since Moscow. Where's Sis? Oh, that's right. I killed her. As if her death wasn't enough. I see you've been busy attacking the rest of G-22. If this is a war, Agent Thornton... What's it to you, Albatross? I was just checking a lead, and the next thing I know, your glorified IT guys are crawling out of the woodwork. 
You've placed monitoring software on our servers. I want you to shut it down. I wasn't expecting to find G-22 here, but they sure didn't make me feel welcome when I arrived. Now you want me to do you a favor, right? Eavesdropping on our servers won't help you. I'm guessing you're looking for an Al Samad and Halbeck connection. So, you're working with both. I should have known. We've been monitoring both Al Samad and Halbeck, but are affiliated with neither. I'm afraid you'll have to take me at my word, Agent Thornton. If the data in your servers proves you've been working with Halbeck, you're gonna wish you'd never met me. If you access that data, I think you'll find it's more trouble than it's worth. Disable your monitoring software, and I will compensate you. I know why you're here. I can help you. Refuse, and you'll find you have few friends here in Taipei. Alright, I'll delete the program. And I could use the help. This operation is turning out to be larger than I expected. Thank you, Mike. And as for your mission, let us say that G-22 has no interest in seeing President Song placed in jeopardy. So, you have been eavesdropping on Al Samad and Halbeck. Yes. Halbeck underestimated Shahid. The man was no fool. But even G-22 hasn't been able to determine how Halbeck intends to pull off the assassination. Or who the assassin is. I'd rather not wait until Sung is shot to find out. That help you mentioned. G-22 will be in contact, Mike. And thank you. Hello? In the back. With you in a sec, buddy. Not too uncomfortable, I hope. Now this, this is dry cleaning solution. Active ingredient is perchloroethylene. Get stains out like a champ. Like a champ when, believe you me. I can come back. Oh, no, no, please, just be a sec. So you remember where they are now, do you? Candy fish. Ah, that does it, when You know I don't like sweet... Oh, the candy dish! That's right! That's where I left my keys. Should have said something earlier, Wen. You see what I almost made you drink? <laughs> Good old Wen. Always getting into antics. Anywho, what can I do you for? I'd like to know more about Ronald Sung. That is, if it won't cost me any important body parts. You've been in town for a while, haven't you? From what I've heard, you've been busy, busy, busy. Why didn't you come say hello when you arrived? Couldn't find the place? If I hadn't been with Wen here, I would have made the time to seek you out. I wasn't sure if you had what I needed to know. I know a lot about a lot of things. Like, for instance, did you know that in the 1960s, the CIA surgically jammed a mic and antenna into a cat for an op code named Acoustic Kitty? No, I've never heard that. Have you heard of anything relevant to my previous question? Oh, it's relevant. Just between you and me. And Wen. You're with the agency, am I right? That's not what I'm here to discuss. Do you know anything or not? Me? <laughs> Do I know something? That's a gas is what that is. You're wasting my time, Heck. Steven, relax. You came to the right place. Yeah, I work for a division of the CIA that doesn't officially exist. Super secret. They just kind of turned me loose and let me go nuts. Uh-huh. So, can you help me or not? Depends. How do I know you are who you say you are? I have to ask because, funny story, one time a salesman came in and I thought he was buying secrets about the German Chancellor's security detail. You don't hear about guys like me. Now, unless you'd like to end up like your friend here, I'd suggest answering my question. Okay, no need for violence. I'm a level-headed operator. Right, when? Then let's hear it. So, Ronald's son, huh? Hey, do you ever notice his name's an anagram for lard on guns? Ironic, isn't it? Are you clinically incapable of getting to the point? All right, maybe not relevant to your case, I get it. Ronnie Sung, Ronnie Sung. What do you want to know, Mike? Personal demons, pants size, political capital, sexual proclivities? Hmm? Do I have to tie you to a chair and pour bleach down your throat to get you to make sense? I need to know who wants Sung dead. Dry cleaning solution, Mike. Bleach is too messy. Political assassinations. Yeah, those are fun. One time I took out an entire soccer stadium just to kill the premiere of Namidia. Hey, did you know at 400 miles an hour, soccer balls can decapitate people? I didn't. But, Sung? Sure, sure. I can tell you this, Mike. There's a big conference coming up at the Grand Hotel. Sung's gonna be there. 
along with a few dozen EU bigwigs and the like. And this helps me how? Taiwanese National Security Bureau is providing the security. You think those cats don't just have oodles of stuff on everybody who might want their boss dead? Hmm. Wouldn't be too hard to slip in and borrow some of that information. I knew that would appeal to you, Mike. Hey, give me a call when you head that way. I'd like to be in on this. You got it. Is this Scarlet? This is... Mike. From the plane, right? You remember. You didn't give me a reason to forget. Heard you were in Taipei, thought I'd call. So, it takes me coming to Taipei for you to get back to me? About your offer of exchanging information. I remember. Do you have something? I'm here in town trying to find out all I can about President Sung in the upcoming rally. Sung? Why? Is there something wrong? His life is in danger. Why do you think that? I have an inside source. He's a target, and I need to warn him. I don't have a lot of friends here in Taipei, and certainly not ones with press credentials who can move freely. Can you help me? What did you have in mind? A little covert operation, if you're up for it. I might be. I'd need the details first. I'll fire them over, along with the location to meet up. All right, then. Talk to you soon, Mike. We need the NSB's threat analysis. What we don't need is to be added to their list. I want minimal confrontation and no civilian casualties. What are you expecting me to do, Mike? Bludgeon a wandering guard to death with a camera? Actually, that last part was mostly for Steven. Anybody ever tell you you're a real wet blanket, Mike? Steven, you're with me. There will be a map of the conference in the security office. You're gonna be my distraction. Can do, Mike. Would you prefer a hot distraction or a loud distraction? What's the difference? Hot distractions have more fire. Just be quick and quiet. We can't afford to put the place on alert. Don't you worry your pretty little head, Mike. They'll never hear me coming. Scarlet, I need you to stay in the lobby for now. Hang out in the bar, see if you can find me a lonely convention attendee. And do what with him, exactly? Prettiest face in Taipei? I'm sure he'll come up with something. When I was a little girl, I always wanted to grow up to be a honey trap. Thanks so much, Mike. I'll call you as soon as I have anything. What about me? You, I'm keeping all to myself. Um, okay, I'll just... I'll keep an eye on the security systems. Okay, everybody knows the score? Then let's move out. Remember, people, this is our one chance to get this intel. Let's do it right. Good luck, Thor now. <laughs> Offices are under guard, and they've got security cameras set up. Hey, buddy, do you like those? Ain't in the line. I may die, so will you. Think you can dodge a train? Damn, no time to turn back. Okay, I've got the disc. Let's see what Omen Dang knows. I'm patching you into my system so you can see what I'm seeing. Careful, Mike. Dang doesn't strike me as a guy who leaves mission-critical data on an unsecured drive. 
This isn't my first day on the job, Mina. I know how to crack an encrypted file. All right, all right. Any luck yet? Just bits and pieces. I'm seeing file headers for something about the assassination attempt, and there's something here about riots at Sun's rally. Are the two related? What do you think? Right, okay, dumb question. Maybe the riots are to cover his escape. Dang strikes me as the kind of guy who'd let innocent people get trampled to death to secure his getaway. Damn it. What is it? Must have missed a security protocol. It's formatting the disk. I can't shut it down. How much have you decrypted? Not enough. Damn, I should have seen this. I'm running out of time. The disk will be wiped before these files finish decrypting. Can you at least salvage one of the files? I think I can get one of them, but there's not enough time to copy both. It's your call, Mike. But you better make it fast. A riot at Sun's rally could cause just as much chaos as an assassination. I'm downloading files in the riots. Got it. That's it. Whatever else was on that disk is gone. At least we got some of it. Yeah, I just hope we made the right call. And so we come to the events in Taipei, Agent Thornton. Yeah, Taipei. I understand you spoke with Stephen Heck at some point. Heck doesn't like to feel that other agents are encroaching on his turf, does he? He's very territorial. You know about Heck? Let me tell you, he won't be happy to hear that. Might even do something drastic. We've known about Mr. Heck for quite some time. We don't consider him a threat. It was Heck who provided you with information about the conference at the Grand Hotel, wasn't it? Do you even need to ask? Not especially. You took a very direct approach to this operation, didn't you? There were several civilian casualties. Didn't have time to go around them. You're becoming a realist, Agent Thornton. Heck wasn't the only dangerous contact you made in Taipei, was he? You're talking about Hong Shure. Blackmailing triad bosses isn't the best way to guarantee a long and healthy life. I think I can handle a few guys in bad tracksuits. Nevertheless, your one-man crusade in the slums kicked the Taiwanese security forces into high gear. You may have done more harm to Hong Shi's organization than you realize. And then you met the mysterious Omen Deng. Met him. Wasn't impressed. Perhaps you should give the man more credit. I know all about Deng's role in the assassination. You mean... We'll get to that later. Faced with the choice of which information to save, you chose... I made the best choice I could, given the options. Why? By putting extra security on Sung, I figured I could draw the assassin out and get some answers. That's harder to do with agitators in the crowd. I see. That's a very pragmatic strategy, Agent. I made the best choice I could, given the options. But it didn't turn out that way. Did it? be Agent Thornton. I understand you have some important information for me. Your life is in danger. A group of Chinese covert agents is planning to kill you and use your death to set off a massive riot. This is a troubling development, Agent Thornton. If it is true. You think I'm making it up? Let us just say I would like to hear the whole story before I make any decisions. A man with my political views lives with threats every day. If you can present me with compelling evidence of this plot, I will take action. Look, Mr. President, I didn't fly halfway around the world to play practical jokes on world leaders. This is real. You must see it from my perspective. With no hard evidence, I can't simply change my plans. I have evidence of the riots. Then the attempt on my life is merely your conjecture. No, sir, Mr. President. Both threats are genuine. Please, for your safety, cancel your appearance at the rally. Canceling the rally at this juncture would do considerable harm to my cause. I am afraid it is out of the question. 
then at least take extra precautions. Wear body armor during your speech. Post extra security something. Give me your evidence, Agent Thornton. If my security chief concurs that the threat is credible, I will have extra personnel standing by to quell any agitators. But the assassination... If I go out onto that stage wearing a bulletproof vest, I announce my weakness to the world. I am sorry. But without hard evidence, I will not send that message to my people. Here's everything I have. Of course, if you listen to me, you could prevent both of these outcomes. Perhaps, Agent Thornton. But I cannot act on the word of a foreign intelligence agent alone. What comes will come, and Taiwan will weather it as she always has. How'd it go? Oh, it could have been better. He didn't listen? Oh, he believed me about the riots once I handed him the evidence, but without proof that someone was planning to kill him, he refused to wear a vest during his speech. What are you going to do? What I do best, shoot up a bunch of bad guys and save the day. Well, don't let me stand in your way. Mike, how did it go with Sung? Not as well as I'd hoped. Did he believe you? He's gonna add additional security, but as for the assassination attempt, without proof, he's not gonna take any other precautions. So, he didn't believe you? No. You tried, Mike. And helping you out? Well, you certainly keep things interesting. I've gotta figure out the next step. Until then, you may wanna get ready in case this story explodes. I hope not. Now I'm tempted to cover the rally. Are you planning to stay in Taipei then? Now I am. That is, if you think I can help, Mike. I don't know what I can do, but... I appreciate it, Scarlet, but I'd rather you were out of harm's way. What? And risk being bored to death? Not a... Looks like Dang's men already made it here. How's that satellite uplink me? Working. And you're right, satellite imaging shows Chinese secret police all throughout the parks. We're a little late. Steven, what's it looking like near the stage? It's a madhouse over here, but not in that fun, violent way. This should be interesting. I hope our friends actually show up on time, could use the helm. You better hurry, Mike. Hey, we're not done yet. I didn't think you were one to hide, Dang. You're missing your big opportunity. Finish it. Okay. Dang must have had an accomplice in the crowd. I tried to warn him, but without hard evidence, he wouldn't listen. Mike, you need to get out of there. Security forces are en route. It'll take them a while to calm the crowd down. But then they'll be looking for the shooter. Of course they are. God forbid I get five minutes to figure this thing out. I suppose it's too much to hope that you did unspeakable things to them. So this VCI comes to me and he says to me, Steve, 
I got a proposition for you. Kinda busy here, Heck. Is there a point to this? So after I pop three of his fingers off for calling me Steve, I say, and what proposition might that be, my good man? Heck? This guy says to me, oh god, please don't kill me. I just came here to offer you five million dollars to give Michael Thornton up as Ronald Sung's assassin. Tell me you didn't. Not gonna lie, buddy. I was really tempted for a minute there. But I kinda like you, so I told him to piss off. Then I set him on fire to make sure he got the point. <laughs> I imagine that sends a message pretty loud and clear. I figured his cronies would probably try and find somebody less scrupulous than myself, so I went ahead and called the news stations. Should keep them off your back for a while. I appreciate that. Hey, no problem, buddy. I want to lay low for a while, but I'll be in touch. Be seeing you, Mike. Searching for a man called Wen Shu in connection with the attack. Government sources have told INN that Wen Shu is a Taiwanese national with no previous criminal record. The nature of his involvement remains to be seen. That should buy me a little time to get out of Taipei. Better get moving. And so this is the result of your efforts in Taipei. Chaos in the streets. An assassination attempt against the president of Taiwan. Well done. There are always more politicians. What's one less? That's exactly what I thought. As far as the Taiwanese are concerned, Omen Dang shot their president. Soon it will leak that Dang was a member of the Chinese secret police, and the push for independence will become even stronger. You managed to escape Taipei undetected, largely because of an anonymous tip identifying a man called Wen Shu as the attempted assassin. Stephen Heck's work, I trust? What can I say? The guy appreciated my style. That's not like you. I've read the records. Seems like you've alienated almost everyone you've worked with since you've activated Alpha Protocol. I prefer to work alone. That's all you cared about then? Destabilizing Taipei? You should pay more attention to global politics, Agent Thornton. If Taipei pushes for independence, the People's Republic will prepare for war. If China prepares for war, so does the U.S. And millions of people die so you can secure a weapons contract or two. War is good for business, Mike. Cold War is even better. I'm here. What do you want? I don't have much time. I'm risking a lot getting this message to you, so I need you to listen. Saying please every once in a while couldn't hurt. Taipei, Rome, Moscow. As far as the agency is concerned, they've been resolved to Halbeck's satisfaction. Perhaps not ideally, but Halbeck's projections are optimistic. That'll be fun until the actual war starts. So what, they're just gonna sit back and let the cash registers fill? Not yet. First they'll delete Alpha Protocol and erase everything associated with it. That doesn't leave me much to work with. And you're all I've got. All you've got? To do what, exactly? I may just be wasting my breath. But if Alpha Protocol is erased, then you're erased. Whatever identity you had, whatever life you had, it's gone. You'll be rogue forever. Until someone finds you. And kills you. What about Halbeck? There has to be something to pin on them. After Alpha Protocol is buried, it's all over. Halbeck's involvement will be covered up. The operations in Moscow, Taipei, and Rome will never see the light of day. All we'll see are the consequences. They don't have the full picture. They think they're starting a cold war that they can live off of for years. If Halbeck isn't exposed, if Alpha Protocol isn't exposed... Or both. It's up to you. I honestly don't know if you care. Maybe you'd actually like to see Halbeck answer for what it did. Or maybe somewhere in you there's still some sense of duty to your government. Who knows? Well, I'm not letting them get away with this. Not on my watch. But why do you care? I mean, you are Alpha Protocol. No, Mike, I'm not. And neither is the rest of the team for much longer. What happens next depends on you. So... Just find a top secret facility, God knows where, defeat the folks that trained me, along with a battalion of agents and marines, recover the evidence of an international conspiracy, and, oh, prevent World War III. 
Anything else? If you want more, I'll pile it on. No, you've made enough of a mess already. It's up to me to fix it before you make it any worse. What are you going to do? Call in a few favors. If Alpha Protocol thinks it's the only one with an army, they're in for a shock. World War III, is it on? You're late. I almost thought you'd stood me up. I'll forgive you, if you have a good reason. I have several bad ones, but I'll spare myself the humiliation. I got held up. Really? I wasn't sure I was going to see you again after Taipei. How could I stay away? You tell me. But since you're obviously here for business, let's hear it and get it out of the way. I have a story for you. It might shed some light on that incident with the airliner in the Middle East. Your offer is on the record, I hope. Wouldn't have it any other way. No conditions? Only that I need you to stay alive long enough to get it to the right people. You've got my attention. Thought I might. What the hell? Guess the old man gave me a false number. Communications decrypted. Signal established. Albatross? You don't look so good. This call is being timed to prevent traces, Agent Thornton. After the timer counts down, this communication will be terminated. If you attempt to trace this signal, I'll end the call immediately. Look, I know you're probably still angry about what happened with Sis, but... You're wasting time, Thornton. All right, jackass, be that way. I'm calling because I'm planning to infiltrate the Alpha Protocol facility. If you think I know the location of the facility, I can't help you. You do have a reason, if you've got the time. But maybe you need me to spell it out for you. Ah, screw this. Hope you're the first one hit by the nukes, Albatross. I hope the next Halbeck missile is aimed at his plane. Looks Did you take care of what you had to do? Everything's in place. How about you? It shouldn't be much longer. This better work, Mike. If it doesn't... Goodbye, me. Mind if I sit here? Go ahead. It'll save me from having to call in the squad. All done running? Never was. Yeah, well, whatever you call it, I'm here to bring you in. Glad you're not making a fuss about this. I called you, remember? So, here we are, Agent Thornton. Guess you can go home again. If by home you mean prison. Mr. Westridge first spoke to you in this room, didn't he? Interrogated, actually. It was a really dull conversation. When he asked you why you volunteered for Alpha Protocol, do you remember what you told him? Have you ever had an intern, had an intern position, position at a position government, government agency? agency. I, have, I have. Need I say more? All my exercise was with the papers from desk to desk. To desk. I'm here to do work, to do not work. sit back and manage it. manage it. I want to be out where the action is. I want to make a difference. Was it all you expected, Mike? Looking back, was it all worth it now? You'll have to excuse me, but I asked for this next part to be recorded for posterity. I wanted to make sure it's captured. Leyland. I've been dying to do that for hours, but I needed to hear all you had to brag about first. I'll take that as your answer, then. This was it for you, Thornton. I was your last chance. I can't wait to show you how wrong you are. Agent Thornton, allowing yourself to be captured, making us go through the effort of bringing you here. <laughs> well done. It's gonna be nothing compared to the coup de grace. Hope you're ready for it. Yes, yes. After all, what kind of chief of security would I be if I wasn't considering my options? Well, I confess I'm disappointed things ended like this. 
I was hoping to convince you to work for us. If not Outback, then the VCI. But that would depend on you. Fuck off, Marburg. Enlisting with you? That'd be like signing up to get screwed by Alpha Protocol again. I don't expect I'll see you again, Agent Thornton. Your mission ends here. Sorry, sir, but we have our orders. When they administer the meds, the end will be quick. Steven? No. The ghost of ass kicking's yet to come. I'm on my way. Oh, and there's a guy coming your way who looks like he wants to violate the Geneva Convention all over you. You might want to take him out first. Yeah, I'll do that. Chopper was our ride out of here. Great. What's the good news? I paid extra for the insurance package. Give it up, Leyland. Thornton, it seems I underestimated you. Yeah, that's one of your talents. It's your choice. Prison, or I kill you right here. No, the choice is yours, Agent. I'm leaving. I Water's at quarter capacity! Yeah. Oh. Going somewhere. All right, Thornton. What is it you want? Just a little payback. Please, Agent, don't be a fool. Yeah. How dare you hit me! That's for Madison. That's my life. I could keep this up all day. Now, tell me what else I can't do. You think you can give me orders? Think you have control of this situation? Thornton, hold on. Look, don't kill me, please. I can help you. If you want revenge, let me help you get it. Against Helbeck, against the government. And all I have to do is let you go, right? See, that's where you lose my interest. Goodbye, Lil. Thornton, please. I can pay you. So, that was it? A little less than I was hoping for. A lot less killing, but... Oh, I like the flooding base part. That was cool. Ah, floods. They're clean and murderous. It's that same thrill you get when flushing a toilet full of red ants. Yeah, know? well, as low key as this was, we might want to stay under the radar for a while. Not sure I like the sound of that. Being quiet and all. Yeah, not really my thing. This little gorilla action we just did, that's more my style. Well, maybe it was more bombs. Ooh, or a bomb filled with bombs. Strapped to a nuke. Once we hit civilization, then we can start making some changes. Assuming this operation is all it appeared to be. Wait, you mean like if this whole thing was an alpha protocol on top of another alpha protocol? Like an alpha alpha protocol. You know, I think I ran into them back in 89 or 98. Maybe both. Ah, that takes me back. Right Tell me on the way. See if you can pick up any news broadcasts. I want to see how the world's doing.